Good afternoon. Welcome to the weekly weather briefing from the National Weather Service in Spokane for November 13th. So several weather disturbances are going to be uh, moving through the area over the next seven days. You can see um, the first storm is going to be with us today through tonight and then we'll have another system move through Wednesday and Thursday and looking out into next late next weekend there's another system that could potentially impact us. So if we check out the temperatures first, we're not expecting any of the frigid temperatures that we saw last week. You'll see we're actually just above normal, um, but temperatures will be decreasing a bit each day through the end of the week for Spokane to right around normal in the low 40s. So the main impact of the week is going to be mountain snow. And this is a graph showing graphic showing the accumulated snowfall totals um, expected the rest of today through tomorrow morning. As you can see, it is just a mountain snow event. We're not expecting any impacts outside of rain for the lower elevations. During the day Tuesday, we'll get a brief break from the rain. Um, we could see some mountain snow lingering in the northern mountains, but the main uh, next system is going to be coming in Tuesday night and lingering with us through Thursday. And you can see this is also another mountain snow event, so we're not expecting impacts for the low elevations. Uh, we will be issuing a uh, winter storm watch for the Cascades above 3,000 feet for Tuesday night into Wednesday. And we're expecting impacts for um, mountain passes, especially Stevens and Loop Loop during that time period. So looking at a little bit more about the impacts, um, again, no to low impacts for the lower elevations because we're only expecting rain. Uh, but we are expecting hazardous winter weather driving conditions for uh, Stevens, Loop Loop, Lookout, and Sherman Pass. Um, and you can see on the bottom a calendar showing the days of expected hazardous winter driving on these passes. So you can see pretty much each day, um, except for Friday and Saturday, we're expecting um, hazardous conditions. And as even on Sunday, um, we now have uh, that potential there, um, and that will be honed in later. The other story this week is going to be the gusty winds. Uh, if you look outside right now, you may see some uh, breezy winds, but they will actually be increasing um, this evening and into Monday, into tonight, and peaking overnight. This is actually a uh, graph showing the peak wind gust forecast for Monday night, Monday evening into Monday night. So pretty gusty winds, um, but this is actually going to be the windiest day of the week, even though we are expecting some breezy winds pretty much every day through this week. Which you can see here, um, we'll look at some of the impact. So for most days, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, we're expecting gusts anywhere from 20 to 30 miles per hour. Um, and that's gusts, not sustained winds. And generally, um, impacts from this is would be outdoor objects being blown around like trash cans and lawn furniture um, and but Monday night we could see some isolated power outages because we are going to be seeing those higher gusts up to closer to 40 uh, miles per hour maybe a little bit higher in, in spots so Monday night is probably going to be the most impacted um, by these winds and then Friday Saturday we uh, get a little bit of a break and then Again, as I mentioned, Sunday, it's looking like another storm system is approaching. Um, that is pretty far out, and so the timing and the details on that are uncertain at this point, but there is potential there for some impact to some mountain passes from another winter storm. So we will be updating our website um, and social media pages with that information on that system as we approach. And then finally, looking out further into the extended, uh, the Climate Prediction Center's 8 to 14 day outlook, which would be for November 19th through 25th, so next week, is showing a uh, warmer and a likelihood of a warmer and wetter pattern. So temperature is expected to be above average during that period and um, precipitation above average as well. And that is the end of our briefing. So as always, you can stay up to date with the latest forecast at our website, www.weather.gov slash Spokane, or on our social media sites. Thanks and have a great week.